Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so hi everybody. Today is such a weird, crazy weather day. <laughs> um, but on a normal summer day, these cocktails would be perfect. Maybe not for today when we have this severe thunderstorm, right? But when the summer days come, you'll be prepared. So like Lynn said, um, and in, in, uh, I posted about this class a few days ago, you know, after Labor Day, I said, if, if you're all kind of like, just like buzzed out, buzzed out from like July 4th, and I'm sure we've had a few too many to drink on, on July 4th, um, it's nice to have non-alcoholic um, alternatives like you know some days that you just want to have a refreshing drink um, but the good thing about these mocktails is that if you follow the same recipe same ingredients um, and you can just add like an ounce to two ounces of tequila or a mezcal it can easily be a, a cocktail an alcoholic drink um, Three, I'm going to show and demo four drinks. The first three drinks that I'm going to show is um, from Daniel Walker's cookbook. Um, and if you were in my class the last time, it's the same author. And I really, really like, you know, her work. So she has these drinks and they call them Paleo Fables. And again, for those of you who have followed me in my class, you know that I'm primarily um, the way I eat is primarily paleo, which is a paleolithic way of eating. Um, I try, which the paleo um, eating lifestyle is mainly like whole foods, like real food. We stay away from anything that's processed and, um, and certain like food groups like dairy, and grains so that's why because it's very some of those food groups um, are inflammatory and for those people like i do that i do get reactions from those food groups so um with that said it doesn't mean that if you have those um sensitivities to certain things it doesn't mean that you cannot have fun and you can't enjoy like a good cocktail even right so um these recipes um so the first three drinks would be the berry basil spritzer the mango mule i love mule and a cranberry limeade now the author daniel walker um she has i think a brother-in-law that is a um he makes his drinks, <laughs> so he knows his drinks. So he had enlisted his help um, to make these recipes. Now, um, the good thing about these drinks is that we don't use any artificial, um, you know, some of the artificial mixers have artificial flavors, you know, natural flavors, but they're not really from the actual fruit. So all of these are all from real whole foods and most of them can be from your garden or you can get from the produce section and it's very easy. So with that said, I'm going to start with the first drink. The first one is the um, berry basil spritzer. Oh, before anything else. Um, one thing that you want to do is it's a honey syrup and you can make a honey syrup is pretty much equal parts honey and hot water, hot water, but not like boiling water. So, you know, one part honey, law, uh, um, local raw honey, and then hot water, you basically kind of just diluting the honey so it will have a more liquid consistency. And this is what we will substitute for simple syrup. So a honey syrup is a more low glycemic um, option, especially for those that are watching their sugar. Um, so you might want to make this in advance and then you can store it in your fridge for as long as like one month and then every time you want to mix your mocktails or cocktails you can just take them out of your fridge and 
um, whip them out and then make your drink. So with that said, let's start with the berry basil spritzer. So if the, for the berry basil spritzer, you're gonna need either blackberries or raspberries. I happen to have blackberries, um, basil leaves, and um, the honey syrup, lemon juice that's strained, and sparkling mineral water and ice. And that's all the ingredients that you're gonna need. And I'm sure Lynn had already emailed you guys, so you don't have to write anything out. It's all um, written out for you in the email. So first order of business, have a cocktail um, shaker. Um, this is what we have. It comes with the lid and it already has sort of like a strainer in them. If you don't have one, it's fine. You know, you can just take any like bottle with a lid and shake it. And then when you need to strain it, just have a little strainer out. It's just so you don't have the little bits and pieces of the other stuff. So let's do, um, we're gonna call out the ingredients. So first you're gonna need three blackberries or raspberries. So I got three, put it in here. And then basil leaves. Um, because I have so much of the lemon basil growing in my garden. That's what I'm going to use, but you can use regular basil. And I've done regular basil um, when I made this a few days ago. So you're going to need three large basil leaves. The lemon basil is smaller than a regular basil, so I'm going to use a little bit more. So I add it here and then your honey syrup. You need one ounce of honey syrup. I have shot glasses here. And I kind of know where the one ounce is from my shot glasses. Okay, that's about an ounce. So I'm going to put the honey syrup in the cocktail shaker. Let's put this back. Now I'm going to put some ice. Actually, I have to put the lemon juice first and I need one ounce fresh lemon juice strained. And I've done this before this class. So let's measure this. Okay. One ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice strained out. Now I get to add the ice. Oh, actually, I had to muddle it first before I put the ice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to muddle it with the ice, but it's a little bit, okay, there, it's moving around. So gently muddle the berries, the basil leaves, and the honey syrup. And then that's when you put the lemon juice and then the ice, right? But they're all mixed here anyway, so it's fine. No worries if you make that mistake. Then put the cover, make sure that is on, and then shake it for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. Give it a good shake. And then go get your glass, and then put more ice in your glass. and then we're gonna get to pour. If your cocktail shaker doesn't have the strainer, just make sure you get your strainer. And then, so let's see, let me do this. Just a bit more. Let's see that beautiful color. Now, oh, more is coming out. And then, nice color. Then you get to top this off with sparkling water. Um, sparkling mineral water is what I like to use. I got this from Wegmans, I think. Um, so there's different kinds, like there's club soda, just sparkling water, there's tonic water. Um, sparkling natural mineral water, the difference is this comes from a natural source and the 
the fizziness of it is naturally done. And this also has some uh, added minerals to it like magnesium. Okay, this particular one says, um, it's from a specific geological region of volcanic origin. It's a naturally carbonated source. It has high mineral content. It's a good source of calcium and magnesium. And it's got, you know, just a very neutral taste. So I don't know how to pronounce this, but it says sparkling natural mineral water. So this is what I, I prefer to use. And then you need about four ounces. Okay, so let's use again my shot glass. A shot glass is two ounces to the top. So I just need one. That's two ounces and that's four ounces. Give it a little bit of stir. And then you can top it off with another blackberry and maybe some basil. And then voila, that's the drink. And you can invite some friends over. Christina, all that color just comes from the berries? Yeah. That's amazing. Right? See? Yeah. That's great. And I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Good. It's super light. You know, you taste the honey in there and the lemon. And the sparkling mineral water gives it, so you feel like you're drinking a cocktail because it mm -hmm. gives it that effervescence, you know, that fizz. But yeah, this one is very nice and light. And I could tell if you just put a, an ounce and a half of tequila, <laughs> then now we're talking, but <laughs> so that's the first drink. If you were to make a uh, picture of that. Oh yeah, so this is like, you know, one serving. Yeah. So you, you kind of just multiply mm -hmm. and see how many you need for a picture. Um, but, I guess, you know, like, like when you go to a restaurant too, right? You're like, everything is done like by the glass. So, yeah. So I, I don't know if that has to do with you want it as fresh or I don't know. But okay, let me just empty this out so I can make the next drink. I'm just thinking if you have company over and you're making a couple of drinks. Like, yeah, yeah. You might want to make more than uh, just the one. You may, you may want to make, you know, the base of it before adding the, the mineral water. Right, good idea. So, yeah, so you can just multiply, multiply the, you know, the, the amount of blackberries, the basil leaves, and the honey syrup, and the lemon juice. You can just times whatever, and then you can have that base of it, and then when you start pouring in the glasses, then before they drink it, then you just add your four ounces of water per glass, right? Yep. Now Sounds the good. next, yep, the next one. Okay, I love mule. I don't know who else here loves mule. Every time I go out, in whatever restaurant, if they have mule, that's what I get. <laughs> so that's why I was so happy when I saw this one. Okay, for the mango mule, what you're gonna need is four to five slices of cucumber, one ounce of honey syrup, one and, one and a half ounce of mango puree, one and a half ounce of fresh lime juice, and one and a half ounce of ginger beer. For my last class when I made the sangria, we did ginger ale, right? And I told you my favorite one. So now we have ginger beer. I'm not and ginger beer is not alcoholic. Um, they don't really put alcohol in it. Um, there's a couple of brands. This is the one that I, I like. It's called Reeds because, again, it's zero sugar. It's all natural. There's one that's very popular, and I don't know where. I had a can of it. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, here. 
this one is what they typically use in a bar. You know, when you go to a restaurant, that brand Gosling's ginger beer. The only thing is, if you look at the ingredients, the second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. And I really stay away from high fructose corn syrup. But just so you know, this, yeah, if you go to a bar and they make a mule that has ginger beer, this is what they use. Um, so this one doesn't use that. And there's also another brand. I think it's Fever, F Fever Tree. You know, fever, like you're running a fever and then tree. That's another good one. And I forgot where I bought this because I bought this a long time ago, but I'm sure it's just here local. <laughs> like the stores here would have it. It's easy. Even Target carries them now. Okay. So first thing I, you need again is your cocktail shaker. Um, cucumber. So this is cucumber from my garden. So I'm very happy that I'm able to grow them this year because I was not lucky with them the other years. So four to five slices of cucumber. And then you're going to do your honey syrup again. You're going to need one ounce. All right. That's an ounce. Okay, now I'm not gonna forget to muddle this first. <laughs> when I sit at the bar, I like looking at the bartender. Um, but when they muddle, they're like really like boom, boom. <laughs> they hit it really hard. Christina, okay. if you don't have a muddler, what are those called? If you don't have one of those, what oh, would but you do? Actually, this is not even a, a muddler. <laughs> okay, can this is. Yeah, like I just like got something. This is like for my juicer. This is what, I, you know, for my, I think for my blender, you know, when you, yeah. when you need to like put something, but anything I even have, I think I have this rolling pin. Ah, there you go. Like I have this to roll fondant and like anything that you can use to kind of just like press things yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to, you know, just like to improvise. Okay, so I'm muddling the cucumber and the honey syrup. And then after that, you can add the mango puree. So either you can do frozen mangoes and like I did with the peach sangria, I used frozen peaches and then, you know, you just let them thaw out. And once they're thawed out, you can just puree them in a blender or you can do fresh mangoes because it's the season for them now. So this one that I did was fresh mangoes. I got it from, I don't know, Wegmans or Whole Foods, but they all have mangoes now for like a dollar per, per mango. Okay, so you put one and a half ounces of mango puree. And then you put your lime juice. Now, see, I put the lime wedge here so I know which one is lemon, which one is lime. I need one and a half ounces of lime juice. There you go. And then after that, I got to put ice again and then I'm going to shake it just like the previous one. Put some ice. I put this. Make sure I have the top on. Oh, let me rinse this. Okay. Just like the first one, give it a good shake. Make sure they're all mixed in together. Okay, now grab another glass. Unfortunately, I don't have, you know, that fancy like copper looking glass. That would be perfect if I had that, but this glass will do. Okay, let's put some ice. And then let's get ready to pour. Mm, the mango. Oop. Okay. Let's see. 
very thick. It's very, but yeah, my puree is super thick. Okay, needs a little bit of help coming out. Oh, but there it is, it is coming out. And for this, you're gonna top it off with a ginger beer. You're just gonna need about one and a half ounces of ginger beer. See, I'm trying to get as much of the goodness out of this shaker. Okay, Let me put this here. Okay. Let me just wipe down this, my puree over here. Okay, now the ginger beer is right here. I can provide you with that fizz. The ginger beer, again, it's not alcoholic. It tastes like ginger. I think the main difference is that the ginger ale is just a lot more sweeter than a ginger beer. And I could be wrong, but the ginger beer is, you know, like fermented versus the ginger ale is not, but I could be wrong. And that's your mule, that's your mango mule. You can, you know, take the size of a cucumber. That looks cool. And it's your other drink. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -mm. Yeah. So you have those two drinks. And again, everything we've used so far is just real food. We don't really need to use anything that's not found in nature. And that's what I like about these drinks. Now for the third one. Christina, did you, um, you what did you use at Cuisinart to uh, blend? The, uh, oh, you know, I just used this one, the bullet. Oh, okay. <laughs> So any, anything, any blender that you have that can make a puree is fine. Okay. Cranberry limeade. That's the third drink. Okay. So again, you need your cocktail shaker. <laughs> it would be nice if I had like three cocktail shakers, right? But this is good practice. If you're like an aspiring bartender, I guess. <laughs> All right, so get your cocktail shaker. Cranberry limeade, you're gonna need fresh lime juice, honey syrup, cranberry concentrate or cranberry juice, um, mint leaves, and sparkling mineral water. And as you can tell, the sparkling mineral water would be the one that you use to top it, to top it off. So first you're gonna put the lime juice you're gonna need two ounces of fresh lime juice. So it's gonna be this entire shot glass. That's two ounces. And then you're gonna need also two ounces of honey syrup. So a full shot glass. Okay, I could hear my, I could hear Amelia coming, the two-year-old. <laughs> Okay, um, and then you're gonna um, you're gonna need the cranberry. Um, this one is Lakewood Organic Pure Cranberry, and it's if you look at the ingredient, the ingredient is just one organic cranberry juice. That's all, nothing added to it. You're gonna need half an ounce of the cranberry concentrate. Okay. That's about half an ounce. And then you're gonna need the, the mint. My mint is growing like crazy. You're gonna need about like 10 leaves. Who else here has mint? It's like taking over my garden. Yeah, so she does. <laughs> And it, they, my, mine's just grew from last year. Like I didn't even need to plant any seeds. They just came up. All right. So now, oh, this one, I don't need to muddle this one. 
So I have the lime juice, the honey syrup, cranberry concentrate, and the 10 mint leaves. And then again, let me put ice. So no muddling for this one. Now cover. Okay. And then again, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it. Let's get this glass. Pour more ice. So they recommend, you know, shaking it vigorously for about like 10 seconds. Okay, get the top off. And then nice color again. That's it. And then you top it off with your sparkling mineral water. And again, it's another four ounces. So that means two full shot glasses. One, two. Ooh, for some reason, this one has like froth mm. on the top. It's very oh, frothy. That looks great. I wonder why. Christina, if it had alcohol, I'd say, oh boy. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Well, well that that's why this is this is nice because yes. that you can like put some mint. That's why it's nice because you can drink yeah. as much. And again, there's it's just all natural, like real food in here. So that um nothing to be guilty about and a and a bunch of the of the ingredients here are you know actually really good for your belly so that's the third drink they all look pretty right i look like i'm i can bartend but i really don't but see if i can do it so you all all of you can also um get away with with this too <laughs> Now for the last, unless you have any questions, I have the fourth um, drink, which is my favorite, mm, favorite summer drink. Glass. And I'm not sure if I've already showed this to you, to any of you before, but I know I've posted it in my account a few times every summer, just because I really like it. And I feel like everybody should just make it. <laughs> I mean, I know Miss Kimberly from the library loves it too. Mm. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, I can go, go to go the... for it. Okay. Questions. So Wait, the... we... I have a question. Do we have okay. a recipe for this? Was that What's in that? the email? Was the was the recipe for this in the email? Yes, it's the okay. last one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as we had that. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna make what I will call just because of the ingredients, <laughs> a watermelon, strawberry, mint, frozen lemonade. So it's more like it's more like a slushy. And so if you're liking, you know, um, like sort of like a pina colada type, you know, like that kind of alcoholic drink, like a slushy type, this would be a good one to, to do. And it's got all like the summer flavors. So in a blender, which I just like using the, what's this, the bullet? Okay, if you have a blender, use a blender. Um, mix all of the following. First, you need watermelon. So I already chopped up the watermelon. And then you're gonna also need um, a handful of either fresh or frozen strawberries, whatever you choose. I'm gonna get my frozen strawberries. Okay. I get so I kind of like filled this like half watermelon and then I'm just gonna put a bunch of frozen strawberries just enough so I can still close this that's the frozen strawberries and then you're gonna need juice of one lemon lemon plus the rind if you've been to my classes long enough you know that every time I use lemon I use the rind. 
I don't waste, I try not to waste anything. So again, handy dandy tool is this, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting what to call this, this one. Um, what do you call this one? But it's, it's a easy way to get to grate the rind off your lemons and limes. And as I mentioned before, like if you freeze your ginger or turmeric, then you take them, that will be the easiest way to grind them like frozen, the ginger and the turmeric root. Okay, it smells so good. Okay, that's like the rind, the rind of the lemon. Now I'm gonna cut the lemon in half and we're gonna squeeze all the juice out of this lemon. Just have this one. Okay. I wish you all could be here and smell this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So now the third ingredient is the juice of one lemon. Just pour it in there. Then uh, Gail says it's called a zester. A zester, okay. Oh, now I remember. A microplane. That's what it's officially uh, microplane. <laughs> um, I have that okay. in my uh, workshop somewhere. <laughs> a micro. A micro, okay. The fourth ingredient is kombucha. You just need a you need a splash of kombucha. This is original, meaning it's the original. It's not flavored with anything, but if it's hard to find unflavored one, if you don't find an unflavored one, just get you know any other flavor that you think will complement the watermelon and the strawberry. You know, there's a watermelon kombucha. There's also a strawberry kombucha. Um, I've used pomegranate kombucha, but you know, if you don't find the original not a big deal. I typically actually use the flavored one, which is fine. Um, so just a splash of it. And again, this is like helping the good bugs in your tummy. Um, it's like, it's, it's a probiotic drink. And now you need fresh mint leaves. And yes, because I have a ton of mint growing. So I tend to pack Whenever I make this, I pack it with mint. And this drink, my kids love it too. When I make it, it's like a competition. Um, if I just leave my eyesight off of it, it'll be gone. <laughs> so usually I make it, the, the, this thing comes in a bigger size. So I usually make it in the taller one so that I can share it with my kids if I'm feeling nice. <laughs> now the last ingredient is raw honey. Mm. So you can put a spoonful of raw honey in it. Let's get a spoonful of it. And again, you know, like with measurements and all that, you just do everything to your own liking. You do it once, you do it twice, and then you kind of gauge, oh, I want more honey in it. I want less honey. I want more of the watermelon or more of the strawberries or vice versa, right? Okay. And then if you didn't use frozen strawberries, you might want to put ice because you want it to be that slushy. But since I used frozen strawberries, I don't need to put the ice. Then just cover your ears because then I'm going to give this a good whirl. And there you go. This is a watermelon, strawberry, mint, frozen lemonade. And yeah, put tequila, vodka, whatever. <laughs> and then this would be, you know, like a nice, really cool down, refreshing drink in a hot, hot summer day. 
Mm. Oh, right, right from the bullet. Ah, <laughs> really tasty. I, I, like I could drink the, the entire um, mug of this. <laughs> That's how much I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys try any of this and let me know which one is your favorite. But yeah. Anybody have any questions? Well, let's stop the recording.